With a digital camera you hardly need any filters at all. One of the exceptions is the use of a polarizer, which is not only useful, but sometimes necessary. But there is a way to simulate the use of a polarizer in Photoshop, and that's what I show you in this lesson. There's quite a number of steps you have to go through to achieve this effect, and that's why it has made it into our actions, so that you can use it with one click only. But for this lesson, I will show you all the steps you have to take. We start by making a copy of our background layer, pressing Command or Ctrl J. Next we go into the Channels palette, and there we select the red channel. By using Command or Ctrl A, followed by Command or Ctrl C, we copy the content of this red channel. Now we go into Lab Mode, going to the menu, Image, Mode, Lab Color, and here we choose for Don't Flatten. In the Channels palette we choose the Lightness channel and with Command or Ctrl V we paste the information from the red channel into the Lightness channel. We now go back to RGB mode through Image, Mode, RGB Color and again we don't flatten the image. Essentially this is what has to be done to achieve the polarizing effect but we can further improve on it. We go back to the Layers palette and we are going to make a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask icon on the bottom. Now we will let Photoshop fill that layer mask by going into Image, Apply Image. We'll choose in our layer for background, in our channel for the red channel. Don't forget to click Invert and as blending mode we'll choose Multiply. The opacity can be set to 100% and we click OK. You can now see that our layer mask has been filled with information from the image itself. To see the effect of this polarizer, we click on the eye of the top layer, and that's where we came from, click it again, and that's what we achieved. Of course, you can always reduce the opacity to decrease the effect, but if you want to increase the effect, the only thing you have to do is hit Command or Ctrl J again. You can do that several times to achieve a really, really strong polarizer effect. So there you have it, a polarizer effect in Photoshop that works on almost every picture and really makes the sky pop.